So I want to talk to you a little bit about fear periods. Fear periods are probably one of the most evilest things on the face of the earth. So every puppy will go through them. Um, typically they go through between three and four um, in their puppy life. But what will happen is one day your dog will be perfectly fine, have no problems whatsoever, and the next day your dog might be terrified of that object or that place or anything like that. What's happening is it's probably going through a fear period. Now, if you don't handle it correctly, what can potentially happen is that dog can be afraid of it all the way up until it's adult life. So a good example is, let's say you're walking your dog. Every day you're going on the sidewalk and then you have to cross a path of grass. Your dog has no problem going into the grass, perfectly okay, like it likes to do it. Then the next day, all of a sudden, he is terrified of going in that grass. Now, if you grab him by the collar and yank him into the grass, what can happen is he can actually become afraid of going into that grass. So what you would want to do is maybe toss some treats on there, um, let the dog go at its own pace. You don't want to ignore it because just like humans, um, you never want to ignore the fear. But you definitely want to work at its own pace. Clark went through a couple fear periods that I know of. One of them I caught and the other one I did not. The one that I caught was every time I would put him on a stay and I'd approach him, he would start backing up in fear. So what I would do is I would reward him a lot every time I got near him. The other fear period was he was terrified of going up the stairs. Now I made a mistake because I would grab him by the collar and I wouldn't drag him up, but I would help him up the stairs. To this day, he is going to be four in January and, this, and to this day, he will not go up the stairs by himself. So I'm guessing he probably went through a fear period and I did not handle that correctly. So fear periods are very, very important and you have to be very, very cautious with them. At the end of this video, um, in the comment section, I will leave a link um, uh, to a website that will talk more in depth about fear periods. But if you have any other questions, please let me know.